Okay, Ruler, settle down. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get pre-orders of all the upcoming Force of Will sets, as well as releases of previous sets after they come out, as well as FowlLibrary.com, a wonderful resource for deck lists, article discussions, and more. Check them out at FowlLibrary.com, as well as these amazing patrons. Special thanks to guest lecturer member Vite Raman. Thank you for your support. Class is in session. Hey there, rulers. DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for Paul Klutz, Dante Belial Midrange. It is kind of tweaked to be more locals friendly. It definitely plays some cards that are more geared towards local play, uh, which is kind of how Paul tends to build decks anyway. But that being said, it is still an absolute blast to play. Um, and it has some pretty <laughs> neat little interactions in it, so let's kind of talk about it. So obviously, we're playing Belial and Dante. That's the wrong Dante. <laughs> Let's grab Dante the Fallen Angel and put him in there. We don't need to rock it out with um, good old old school Dante, but we have Dante here in Belial. Uh, stone base wise, we're playing four uh, copies of Six Sages, two Imaginary Satan, two Erythropia, one Amadeus, and one Heaven's Rift. You are a very black white centered deck, but you have some splash colors, so Stan is really nice for this because you're killing Dante pretty early. And then in the main deck, we're playing three Virgil. One Lilius Petal, uh, because you have four, five different types of stones, so it's very easy to get the three stones. It is a nice little board wipe that also is a body threat, and you can search it off with a Stemma's Wrath, which is pretty cool. Three copies of Charlotte, uh, because again, it's the white, it's a good answer to God's Arts, and you can kind of tech in a lot of one cost white cards that do a lot of work. Four Lumia, two Castle of Belial, four Prideful Rule, a single copy of Blazer to be able to just ruin a j ruler's day and permanently remove all of the abilities which is kind of neat oh uh, he actually used this against an olivia player at our locals the other week and just shut off her randomness permanently um which was very neat uh, and a semis wrath lets you do things like that for three copies of belial's rule three hunting angels three beginning of a fairy tale two angel of false life to be able to do some answers to opponents belial decks to be able to make them lose life which is nice Two copies of Inferno, just for the sake of being able to potentially do the uh, my life is at zero um, kill you, <laughs> or just also has a nice little board reset. Two copies of Table Manners, um, three Estemma's Wrath, two Arm of the Demon, and two Choir of Fallen Angels. One thing to note that's really cute with Arm of the Demon and um, the uh, Arm of the Demon and Hunting Angel is you can technically set up a loop that just permanently kills your opponent um, because it says this card deals that much damage to your opponent so if she deals damage to your opponent at all and it turns that you've gods arted and you have arm of the demon she will infinitely loop her own effect to just kill your opponent because she'll deal 12 gain 12 you'll gain 12 she'll trigger she'll deal 12 to your opponent you'll gain 12 she'll trigger she'll deal 12 to your opponent and you just kind of cycle them out that way so it's a nice little Neat little two card interaction there that can just sometimes close out games relatively quickly. It also creates a weird infinite loop um, if you're planning a Stemma, but we're not, so we're a little bit safer there. So that is the deck. Huge thanks to Paul for piloting it on the channel and giving us the list to show off to you guys um, to kind of see some of the silly things that you can do, especially if you're not really just, if you're not trying to maximize the efficiencies of the deck, you can play some really cool little cute interactions that are a lot of fun to just play in the casual sense. So check it out, try it for yourself, let us know what you think would be the things you want to try to tech in off of a Stemma's Wrath, and until next time, this is DMO73 saying, class dismissed.